Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. I recently purchased this steel BG55. This is a gas powered leaf blower. Um, there was a guy selling this used. I was able to pick it up real cheap. Um, it starts, it runs, but when you get using it, you're squeezing this throttle, it tends to cut out and bog down. So today what I want to do is pull that carburetor off, we'll give it a clean, put it back on, and see how it runs. Alright. Looking at this, I'm not really uh, too sure where I'm going to have to start. I've never worked on one of these before. I think we're going to have to pull this air cover off, pull this filter out, probably need to replace that at some point here. Let's see what we've got. Got a couple nuts here, probably 10 millimeters. Going to have to uh, pop those off to get into that carburetor. Um, I was looking at this, I was thinking this was going to be a 10 millimeter. It actually fits a 8, I think that's what I got, yeah, fits an 8. We got two nuts in here. We'll have to just pull them off. Here's those two nuts. Want to be sure to not lose parts that we remove. Need those later. All right, there's the carburetor. Now we're down to that. Boy, this thing is awful greasy in there. Well, I'm gonna take this outside real quick. Spray this right down with some carb cleaner and clean this grease out. When I come back, we'll pull this carb off, clean it out. Now that this is all clean, we time to remove that carburetor. The only thing preventing it at this point from coming out are the two gas lines that are attached here on the bottom. Just got to get those pulled off, and then this carb will slide straight out. Use a flat screwdriver on the end of the hose and I just work it down nice and easy, real slow. I like to take my time, I don't want to rip this hose, I don't want to have to uh, replace anything that I don't have to. And that's the first one. See if we can pull this off, leave that second one on until uh, it's all the way off. Maybe it'll be easier to get to. What else we got going on in the way here? Of course, the uh, throttle cable's in the way. Have to see if we can fool around with that. Might have to take this whole handle apart, which I was kind of hoping to not do. Well, this will be the last one. There won't be too many more uh, surprises. Work. <clears throat> Voila. Carburetor is off. Need to remove this flexible hose here. A little bit of gas slanging around. Well, really now it's just time to start taking this little thing here apart, this little carburetor, and uh, just cleaning it up a little bit. Start with this big Phillips screw head here. Take that one off first. 
there's still gas in this bulb, so we're gonna lose some gas out of the carb as I pull it apart. It's one reason why I've got this piece of cardboard down. Don't get all over my workbench. And when we're done, I'll just set this thing out in the sun and it'll just dry right up real quick. <clears throat> Whether it looks clean or not, I like to just spray everything down. I just start taking this nozzle and spraying it in all the little jets and holes that are in here. Cleaning out any grit, any grime. There is a little filter in here. I'm looking at and that thing is, that's really clean. There's nothing in there. It's not like my chainsaws that are usually gummed right up. these screws for the other side if you can hear it I hear something outside my shop it's early in the morning right now and uh, it sounds like I've got a A little woodpecker outside, or maybe a squirrel chewing on, on something. Something on the outside of my shop, though. Primer bulb's still in good shape, so we're gonna keep that. Let's see if we can get this piece here all sprayed down. <clears throat> so this little screen in here is usually sealed down pretty well. Take a flat head, take my time, just pop it up easy. I don't want to rip it because I don't want to go and get a whole kit and get away with this cleaning stuff off a few times and then uh, probably end up having to get a kit anyway down the road. But for now, came right off and I don't really have to worry about it at the moment. Well, I'd say it's time to start putting this back together. Spray this little screen down some. screws back in not cranking down on these screws too awful tight mostly just uh, making them nice and snug Just want to see quick if uh, these are broke free. They are a little rusty in there.
Well, that's about all I could do for now with this carb. I think we'll put this back on. See if I can get it hooked back up. See how it fires up, how it runs. And we'll go from there. Start with one, a longer one first. When you're holding the carb, it'll be hose that's a little bit further to the back. I just set the carb on there for now. So now we got this wire for the throttle. I'm gonna have to finagle this thing around and oop, get that back in place after I pick it up off the ground. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna take the carburetor back off, put this in, and then we'll fish it through. Probably supposed to be actually. Let's see if we can fish this thing back in here. Get it all lined up here with the trigger. Ah, fell apart on me. <laughs> a little rod fell out of the trigger here, putting it back in. So we'll just have to pop that back in its spot. Everything looks good there. Well, while I've got this cover off and the spark plugs right here, I think we're going to pop that baby out and uh, just give it a quick wipe down, give it a brush, pull that spark plug out, just clean the end of it up real quick. Got one of my uh, wrenches here from one of my chainsaws, fit right on there. A little dirty. Not bad. When I bought this, it was it was already firing over. Start up, so obviously it's not too gummed up. But we'll stick it in some uh, carb cleaner here and hit it with this little brush and put it back in real quick. Put that in finger tight, put the wrench back on, just till it's snug. You want to work right in this part, boy. Probably should have left it off, kind of in the way to put this piece back in. Eh, we'll see if we can make it work, though. Everything's working. Put these screws back in. All right, now I've still got one gas line to put on and we got to put together the rest of the assembly. We can't just fire this up this carburetor the way it is. It's not tight enough. Um, we could just put the nuts on and try to fire it up, but I prefer to just put the whole thing together the way it should be and then start pulling it over. So we'll attach that second gas line. It's on. One, two. Pop this piece in there, which you know what? This is pretty greasy and dirty, nasty. I'm gonna take this outside, spray it down, clean it off real quick, 
then we'll come back and put this piece on. All right, we're back. This piece is nice and clean. Let's pop this in place. Kind of got to finagle it in there a little. There are some bushings that are in the plastic that those, uh, those bolts come through, studs. Make sure those bushings stay pushed into the plastic. Should have took the filter cover out there as well. That needs a cleaning. Well, maybe we can do something different with this one. Well, that was easy enough. Snap of the fingers and she's clean. Cool. You know what I forgot? I forgot to put this little gasket back in. Pull this piece back out. Put that gasket on. Piece back on. Boom. All right, this filter is like pretty oily. Definitely oily. Feels pretty gross. See if I can kind of squeeze some of the oil out of it with one of my real nice shop rags here. All right, pop our filter, not pop our filter in. I'm gonna put our two nuts on. I'm gonna hold all this stuff together. This is usually a little tricky on the chainsaws, trying to get everything started. All right, got our filter. Cover. We're together. You know, I haven't even uh, checked the gas they have in here. Looks like gas. <laughs> Mixed gas. Alright, so I've got the BG55 put back together. I'll go outside and see if we can't... Uh, Pull this over a few times, see if it'll start up here, see if it'll run smooth. If it doesn't, well, we'll probably take it in and to the shop and have those guys service it, see what they think about it. I don't know too much else past taking your carburetor off and cleaning it. It's a pretty simple fix for things when they're not running right. Anything other than that, you gotta take it to a professional. But go outside and see what we got. I'm gonna go ahead and prime the bulb a few times. Until I start seeing some gas get up inside that bulb there. A little bit in there, not much. There we go. And make sure to turn it to full choke. We just got full choke, it's primed. Let's turn it on, give it a pull. Turn choke off. Got some fresh gas in there. See how it runs. Doesn't like to run. Well, 
sounds like it's running pretty smooth. Um, I'd say probably a mix between the bad gas and a dirty carburetor. The majority of the problem with that. A lot of times you can fix those things yourself. Don't have to take it to the shop, but if you go through, clean your carburetor, change your filters, change your gas, and your machine still runs like garbage, you might as well spend the money, take it to a professional, have them take a look at it. Um, just a guy that likes to work on my own stuff, saves me money, costs me a little time, but you learn a few things on the way, along the way. That's all I've got today on this. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I hope you liked that last video. If so, shoot me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. You can follow the link right here. I've got a few other videos up. Feel free to check those out. You can also follow my work on Facebook at Hall Stick Furniture and Signs. You can even find us on Instagram. Check those places out. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.